everyone, welcome to Here We Go Gaming. We're back with another thousand point Age of Sigmar battle report today against Cam. How are you doing, Cam? Hello there, I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. good Thanks good. very much. Um, we're we're going to play a nice thousand point game. I'm play, uh, bringing my Seraphon today, and knife brought, uh, Cam's brought out his Knife Horn. Very nice okay. army. Two lovely, lovely armies on the board today, if I do say so myself. Um, bringing you a nice colourful battle report. I know, I feel, I feel I've let the side down because I've got a unit that's not painted today. Oh, hey. For once, I'm the, One I'm of the culprit. Not based, so it's oh. fine. We're, we're all even in this. We're all even in this. Today, we're playing one of the new GHB battle plans. It's called No Reward Without Risk. And the specific gimmick with this one is if you have a wizard that is slain um, within range, so the, the range of this explosion on a four up, you explode, the range of which is your health value. So, for example, my slan has got nine health. If you kill him, Everything within nine inches is going to suffer D3 mortal wounds. Good for Cam, because he has no wizards. Bad for me, though. So we will um, we will see how that goes. Um, that's the gimmick today. I've picked, actually, to go first. I deployed first um, with my battle tactic. We were both um, battle regiments, so allowing for our one drops. Um, I picked priority because I've got a little bit of a plan, which I'm going to disclose to you just now. Before we do that, we'll quickly show you our armies. If I pop us over to this. So as you can see, I've got five Raptodons over here. Raptodon um, charges, they are. I know they're unmounted. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. I have a Bastilodon, which is the art of Sotak today. I have some Skinks. That's a unit of 20 Skinks there. I have the Star Priest, who is, he knows speed of Haunchy, which allows me to uh, move a Skink unit in my hero phase like just normal movement. So potentially can get 24 inches on those guys. Really quite nice. My general today is the Slan Star Master. He's got the Space Folder Stave that allows me when I generate enough cosmic power points, summon something onto the board, I can deploy it seven inches rather than nine. And his, nice. it's, it's a nice, nice, uh, nice little one. And his specific command trait is um, where I generate two cosmic power points instead of just one on a cast. Cam, would you like to run us through your list, sir? I certainly can. It's similar to the list I ran a few weeks ago, if you've watched that game. I've got my Spirit Torment to heal at the end of the combat phase. My Cruel Gas Cruciator, who does that nice uh, bubble of minus one damage. And then my General is my Knight of Shrouds on a third, a third, a Ethereal Steed. And I've given him the... Where is it again? They like hiding from you in the app. They do, they do. I think it's the Shadow's Edge artifact on his weapons. You pick one of the bearers melee weapons. If you have a modified wound roll for the attack made, that weapon is six. It inflicts D3 mortal wounds on the target and the attack sequence ends. Very so that's nice. That's one for him. And the command trait I'm giving him is... is I'm going to go with... Ruler of the Spirit Horse is what I usually do. Yeah. So on a four up, he picks a replacement unit. They have half the models rounded up. Very nice. So Very nice. Them back. Keep bringing those Spirit Hosts back for you to shrug on to. Yeah. Really clever idea. Really clever idea. Awesome. So, and of course, for my battle line units, I've got some Spirit Hosts, some Chain Rasp, my Black Coach in the Underworld, and some Craven Thunk. I'll yeah. try them out today. So there is some shooting. Not that I have a lot of it. I mean, I have 20 skinks to throw some mud at a wall, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so with that, we'll get straight into Seraphon first turn. My battle tactic, you'll have to forgive me, I don't have the name with me on hand, but essentially it is to control an objective with skinks that is currently contested by an enemy. So I'm going to pick this objective, which is currently controlled by the spirit hosts and some of the... Um, Spirit, uh, what did they go on? Chain, rasp. chain rasps, that's it. I've had it in my head as well. I've painted the chains this week. So oh, like very nice. On the, the chain and the rasp. Yes. So the, the plan is we're going to try and shift calm off this objective. And it's a, it's a bit of a how are we going. So let's see how we go. To start us off with, we are going to get three cosmic power points because we have a Realm Shaper engine, we have a Slan, piece, a slan Priest, and we have a Skink Star Seer. And I always say this, it's when you're looking on a D20 for a number, it's, it's never, never there. there. It's, not it's a... never there. Okay, so for the start of the turn, I get to, so we. I'm on two command points. Cam, you're on three. Three. We're going to do our heroic actions now. Um, I think my slan is just going to roll for a command point on a four-up, which he gets. What would you like to do, Cam? 
Um, I'll roll for a command point. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, on a six, he gets it. Who are you sticking it on I'm to? I'm going to stick it on to my Knight of Shrouds. Sounds good. And Arcane Dice on a four up. Let's see what happens. I generate us one. You do not. So I have one Arcane Dice. All righty then. All righty then. One thing you might want to Google, yep, because you have no wizards, is you get the Null Stone Enhancement. Ooh. And I don't know what they've done because I've never had them. So just whilst I'm doing some, some stuff, it might be worthwhile. I'll do the thing that's going to affect it last. Um, so I roll two dice to see if I generate any command points, and that's coming from my slam. On four ups, I generate, so I'm getting one of them. Takes me up to two command points. Very nice. We like it. Takes us up two. Sorry. Takes me up to three, rather. Um, the slan now is going to attempt to cast Celestial Equilibrium. And what this does is let everybody get a plus one to cast. That's going off on an 11. Cam has no wizards. He didn't have willpower, so I'm getting free casting here. So that goes off. Everybody gets plus one to their casting, bar the slan. So it's only going to be the, st uh, the Skink Star Priest. But for casting the spell successfully, gain two Cosmic Power Points. I'm going to go for the hand carved null stone. And what does that do? It uh, allows us to unbound or dispel as if they were a wizard. Okay, in that case, I rolled an 11 on that one, plus one. So I want to say it's a 12. Would you like to try? Two dice for a 12? I don't think you're going to get it. You want to? You would have to throw in an arcane dice if you wanted to beat this cast. It might be <laughs> worth waiting. If I were you, I would wait for Comet's Call. Because that's where I can do board wide D3s. Yeah, that's so that's, if, if it was me, that's what I'd be holding on to. So that goes off. The Skink Star Priest gets plus one. Very nice. Does the Slan get that as well as? No, not not the Slan. So it's it's he's giving it to everybody else rather oh, than right. just him and it. Because he already gets a plus one. So it's quite yeah. nice. He'd be on a plus two if I had um, an Astral of Terror, for example. Yeah. Everybody would get a plus one as well. So that's that bit done. He's now going to cast. He's now going to cast Comet's Call. So that's on a 7, 8. I'm going to add my arcane dice to the matter. Put me on an 11. So Cam, would you mm. like to try and do, do that? Yeah. Two dice, 5, 6. So if you roll a 6 on this arcane... I get 11. Does it match in it? That dispels, doesn't it? Does it uh, does you have to better? exceed. You have to exceed. So you can't even get it. Um, 8, 10. No, you can get it. Oh. Mm. No. no, unfortunate. We draw. So, Comet's Call is going to go off, and because it exceeded 10 on the dice roll, I get to do D6. Right. Okay. Which is going to be 3. So, I will put it on um, 1 on the Spirit Host. In fact, let's just go all of your heroes. Make life simple. Right. So, this hero to start off with is taking two mortal wounds. Two so, mortal his wounds. shrugs. No. Shrugs one. Shrugs one. Is, does he have a five up ward by I any chance? I don't think so. I'll double check though. Worth having a little gander. Because yeah. that was a hot roll. Wouldn't want to rob you of a. It would be nice if he did. It would be excellent, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be. I hope he does. Um, I've got four. Nah. Nope. Nah. So, so one of them goes through. Just the usual six up wards for Night Haunt. Yeah, no problemo. One goes through for the next guy in the chain. For three this time. So one goes through, so he's taking one wound there. Yep. And he's taking three. Does he have any shrugs? Because you could try and shrug these onto the spirit hosts, I believe, couldn't you? Yes, I could actually. Couldn't. So only one on that one, not the end of the world. You can hurry recovery that dead easy. This one you might want to try and shrug. Yeah, I'll probably try and shrug. Yeah. I'll just get the spirit hosts. Of course. That's why we like playing 1K games. You've yeah. got time to look things up. Yeah. It's the bestest part about them. And we want to get rules correct. It's three up, yep. allocated. Stay there, right? So three, three ups. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, and that's going to shrug. Four, so you're shrugging two. two of them, and one stays. So, yep. so the fellow's going to take one dice. He takes a wound. Oh, I'll give you. you some special dice. Oh, here you go. Uh, and takes the spirit hosts take two. Takes two. Good application there as well, because I was going to say don't put it on him, because I'm going to need to shift him to try and get yep. my battle tactic. So, um, the next fella in the chain for the last one on Comet's Call, two. 
two on your mounted fella there. Two on the mounted fella. And he... Comet's called coming off. I'm happy yeah, with that. It does. That. It's just six ups. Just six ups? Yeah. So how many was that, sorry? It was uh, three. Three. I'll, um, three. I'll pass them off onto the spirit. Yeah, of oh, actually. Are they within? No, sorry. It was only two. It was only two. Tell a lie. It was only two. So we're going to dice pile. Yeah. I'll probably still pass them off. I would. I think it was within three, wasn't it? Yeah. And yet, easy within three. Absolutely easy. Yeah. yeah. So two dice. Three ups. Shrug one, fail one. That's it. So, so one dice onto your mounted dude, one perishes. One perishes. We're getting there. Leash. Okay. So that's Comet's Call done. His last cast, and for of course for getting that off, I get two additional cosmic power points. It takes me to seven. His final cast is going to be Shield of the Old Ones. Just gives him a four up ward. It's going off on an 11. So that's brilliant. He's got a four up ward now. Um, we need to find the number nine. For nine cosmic power points. Okay, now it's time for the Skink Priest. The Skink Priest is going to attempt to cast Cogs. Which goes off on a seven. Brilliant. So, where did I stick Cogs? Here it is. Cam is very kindly letting me use his Cogs. Um, so we're just going to stick that behind the Bastilladon. Now, Cogs has changed this season. So rather than allowing you to reroll casts, it gets you a free cast of either Arcane Bolt or Mystic Shield. Of course, for getting Cogs off, I gain one additional um, Cosmic Power Point, taking me up to 10. Now, I'm going to try and cast Mystic Shield on the Raptodon Charges. Which goes off on a 6. Excellent. So they have Mystic Shield. And of course, we gain one more Cosmic Power Point. Excellent. That is Hero Phase. This is the current state of our board. Not a whole lot happened. Managed to shift off one of the spirit hosts. We'll be right back after I have completed my movement. Nice. Okay, that is my movement completed. So quite a bit of a difference in the board state, I think, now. So we've moved some of the skinks up a little bit, tried to contest that objective and just firmly plant our backsides on it. Made a little bit of a misplay in the hero phase that some of you may have seen. Um, what I should have done is, rather than casting cogs this turn, I think I should have just speed of horn sheet my... Uh, Raptodons just to get a confirmed three inch charge because my battle tactic is I need to control an objective with skinks um, yeah. So slight misplay there. That's not going to get me that, that three inch charge Which is a bit of a pain and to try and offset that what I've now done is I've brought in some riders that you can see just here They are they look like pterodon riders. It's just because well, they are pterodon riders today They're going to be used as ripodactyl riders, which is the melee version of the riders. They're not amazing but I would never have known. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not amazing. They're not amazing. Um, There'll be somebody at home that knew, though. Living in yeah, uh, yeah. These, because it's only, so they're 10 summon points, I should say. Yeah. So I'm, I'm left on one. Um, an additional summon point, and I would have been able to bring in Pterodons, because they have um, range capabilities as well as melee. So, oh, nice. but that, the hope with these guys is, is to get that charge off. They came in seven inches away, and that should hopefully allow me to complete my battle tactic, even though I screwed up. So, we will go to our shooting. It's just to see now. Skinks, they have a 16-inch range. Let's see, how many are going to be in? So, I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five. Five shots. You know what they say, Cam? If you throw enough mud at a wall, eventually it'll stick. Now, I've rolled. And these fellas, these have bolt spitters. So, it's fours and fives. So three failures there, looking for fives, nothing. The poison darts do nada. Whoa. Now we go to the real part of the game, charging. So we're going to do the really important one first, which is the Ripodactyls. Uh, the Ripodactyls, sorry, the Raptodons. On a five, that's not going to be in. They get plus one for having a banner. So I think, to be honest, I'm going to be looking at a seven inch charge here. Yeah, seven inches will get me in. So let's re-roll that with a command point. Seven plus one for the eight. That'll get me in. Will it get me into where I want, though? It should do. So he'll go there. And the rest will totter along in. No impacts for these guys getting a charge, though. So there's that benefit. Oh, 
Um, That's different for the cavalry in It is. Normally everything's like impacty everything. Um, Surely it hurts getting hit by a dinosaur. Yeah, you would think. <laughs> you would think. The, the gimmick with these guys is, is because I'm contesting an objective, they're normally damage one. When they're contesting an the objective or they're near arcane, it's two. So oh, nice. because they're on that objective, they're going to get two damage, which is nice. We'll do the Ripodactyl Riders now. They're looking for seven. Four. They are not going in. Um, that is it. That's going to be the end of my charges. We go into combat. Here we go. So let's count some dice out. I have... Well, let's start by piling in. So if we move... Yeah. We want to do the shimmy shimmies. Getting into the spirit hosts. Yeah. Oh, that's that objective that you want, though, isn't it? It is. I'm just thinking I might be slightly cheatsy in there, so let's just do it like that. So two of them can get into the spirit hosts. The other three are going into the chain rasps. Nice. So we'll do the, the spirit hosts first because that's kind of the important one. Right. So a champion plus the usual guy. So that is, it's fours and threes normally. I'm going to burn <gasps> a, what would you like to do? Did you forget your Emerald Horse by any I chance? I did, yes. I forgot allocate, my Emerald Horse. Allocate it now. Um, so it's D3 plus one. D3 plus one. Yeah, go for it. Oh, one so plus one. one. So two of them. Who would you like to stick it on? I'll stick it on your two leaders. Yes. Good so, shout. So um, it doesn't affect us till the end of the battle round anyway, but no problem at all. The last game, I forgot to do that. Yeah. I, I, I allocated it, but then I forgot to forgot do, do it, anything with it. So find a, find a couple of counters if you I, want. I, I know Jordan will be sitting at home next week going, Why? Okay. I'm, I'm about to help you as well. So right. would you like to discorporate? I would. Who would you like to discorporate on? The spirit hosts or the chain rasps, do you think? Hmm. I'm going to discorporate on the spirit hosts. Stick them on. On the spirit hosts, good choice. Okay. So I'm all out attacked. That's going to put me on threes and threes. I'm minus one rend, but rend doesn't do anything to night hawk. Yep. So threes are successing. So one fail. Successing. That's a word. <laughs> threes. Oh, not so hot that time. Uh, three going through, mate. Three saves into your spirit hosts. Three saves. So three, four ups. Yeah. And then two go through. So that's four wounds. Ooh. But do you have an aura that mitigates anything in terms of damage? I'll double check. I think I do. Where's Jordan when you name? Uh, no, you know? I know. Tell me about it. Because if you have any auras, I'm more than happy to reroll. Just double check. Because this is the, the purpose of this game, ladies and gentlemen, is me and Cam and uh, one of the other lads, Dan, are going to Warhammer World. We're playing a thousand point tournament. Slightly different. It's not the new GHB. Um, the damage would be minus one. So it's, instead of two, uh, instead of four wounds, it'll be two. Just the two. Yep. And I'm not going to say the heroes as well. Yeah, no, of course. Th bit. This is the purpose of this game is just for us to brush up in terms of exactly yeah. how we want to play our armies. Plus, I'm still undecided what I want to take. It's, um, it's a bit of a toughie for me. I'm looking at... Um, nah. Nothing? Nada? Nada. Nada. Nada, 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 nada. Just, just the Cruel Gas 2 does the minus 1. It's the units within 12 of any friendly night hot units. Cool. So rather than 4 wounds, it's only going to be 2. Terrifying on a 5-up ward save now, isn't it? Because you've discorporated discorporated the spirit horse. Yeah, yeah, so they're on a five up ward, aren't they? Yeah. Rather than the six. Very nice. It's just the wards I need to do for them now, isn't it? Yeah, just two wards. Yeah. Oh, Fail both. No. Unlucky. So that's how many wounds? Two? Just two wounds. Just two wounds. So, um, we will do the other riders now. These going at the chain rasps. Oh, sorry. The mount attack, sorry. So this is twos. And then freeze. All hit. Whoop. Lost a dice. Threes. So you have three more saves to take there, mate. And that was from the sh serrated fangs. Three more saves. Yeah. Four ups. Nope. Um, one just one, one damage, damage each. Yep. Yeah. Five ups. ups. Five ups now. Taking two more. Two more at the spirit host. So that one dies and a wound carries. So he's taking two wounds, yeah? Yep. So yeah, that one carries over. Um, 
Okay, that's that done, though. So now we're on to the other attacks. This is all into the, uh, the chain rasps. So once again, it is threes because of all out attack. Oh, no. And threes. Where are you going to finish on a six? So that is three, six saves, mate. Six four ups. Six four um, ups. Or is it, is it four ups on chain rasps? Five ups, sorry. Five ups. Yeah, of course. So five ups. Seven, Seven two. Two, three, four. And then sixes. Nice. Two, six, sugar, one, six. sugar and one. So three damage onto the chain rasp so far. That was from the riders. Uh, and this is from the mounts. Twos and threes because of all out. One fail. Uh, one more fail, so that is three, six, seven saves. Seven saves. Five ups, so Five seven, ups. One. one. And then you get six your ups. six up wards. Seven, another one. one. And then Five, five. Going yep, five going through. Yeah, so that's those two bid. And then three more. Get there, maybe. Yeah. If I were you, ah, it's a toughie actually. Yeah, because no matter where you take off, it's going to be on the objective. Um, well, that's it. Yeah, unlucky, unlucky. See, I'm, 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 I'm just playing around with the list. I did have in this list two units of ten chain rasp, just to give you that little bit yeah. more of a buffer. Yeah, to have more like foot on the ground kind of thing. Mm. Swift a couple of rolls there, like yeah. it's one of them. It is. You, you've been quite unlucky on the save no, so it. far. Um, that is my combat done. You get the strike back. Right. Um, I'll do the chain rasps first and so yes, on sir. there. Chain rasp leader gets three attacks and then the other guy just gets two. Sick. And they're fours and fours. Sounds good. Any minuses or anything? Nope. Whoa. Oh. There's the hot roll. Oh, it's a frightful touch. So they all go through. So yeah, it's just three saves. Three saves. Uh, any rend? No, no rend. So five ups. Nice. Okay. Nice. All righty then. It's going to be one of them games. Um, how much damage? Just one damage. Just uno. Okay. Uno damage. Oh. And then the spirit, spirit host. host. Who's pretty shit in combat. But he's going to take his swing anyway. Way I. Might as well. And they get six attacks. Fours and fours. Yep. Frightful touch. One, one goes frightful. through. And one normal. No. So one more frightful. Um, on a five up. Fails it. That's going to kill a Ripperdon. Oh. Not good. A Raptodon even. Ripperdon? Raptodon? Yeah. It's all the same. It's yeah. all ours. Um, end of combat. Yep. So I currently control one, two, more and what i need to know is i think i count as more as you on that one as well so i'm going to get my battle tactic for the full yeah five points i think yes. you hammered us there you took off what you needed to do it it's um i feel like it's a one of them lists though of like this is probably going to do well into you yeah but anything a bit tougher i'm gonna have a real bad time um <laughs> So yes, that is the end of my turn. Five victory points scored for myself. Very happy about that. Cam, it's over to yourself, mate. What would you like to do? Oh, well. What battle tactic are we thinking? Battle tactics, let's go. Battle tactics are hard this season. It's one of the things I've noticed, especially like if you haven't built a list around trying to get battle tactics, it can be a real pain. Like a real, real pain. It's tough. Because it's such a like it's such a wizard heavy season, and a lot of it's built around magicka. Yeah. Um, if you're feeling particularly ballsy, there's a player I could offer you, and also we need to do your Emerald Post at the end of this battle round, so we yeah. can't forget that. At the end of the turn, yeah. If it was me, I'm gonna go for a Legend of the Millstrom. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna mention that one for you. 
it's a good off option. I can retreat and charge, though. You can retreat and charge. You're not going to get punished for it. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Okie dokie. I'll lead into the Maelstrom angle. Lead into the Maelstrom. Battle Tactics 7. So, heroic actions, Cam. What would you like to do, my man? Probably heroic recovery. Yeah. Which one are you going to do it on? I'll do it on my crew gust. Yeah, okie dokie. So, so just rolling lower than a 10 here. Two dice, sorry. Two dice, sorry. Yeah. Un unlucky. Oh, unlucky. Oh. It's, that's a bugger as oh. well, with them all being bloody 10. Well, um, it's, been, it's been an emotional journey here. Here we go, Gabe, but I'm just going to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> the dice are not in Cam's favour today, unfortunately. Oh, um, stick to pin. <laughs> <laughs> I will roll for a command point on the slam, uh, which he gets. Awesome. Um, arcane dice. I don't generate. What about you? Ooh. Nope. No. no arcane dice. All right. So, hero phase shenanigans. Have you hero got any? Hero phase shenanigans. We love a bit of hero phase shenanigans in there. Uh, I in probably the don't. <laughs> I, I don't have mainly, much with this list. It's not like... I know it's mainly like Lady O who yeah. tends to do a lot of End like, of the, the combat spirit. phase for the, for the spirit torment. He yeah. his healing then. Oh, yeah. I should have done that last turn. So do it now. That's you fine. You pick one friendly some of the unit, the unit. You can heal either three wounds allocated to that wound, or if no wounds allocated to it, you can return a number of slain models either combined with three or less. So you could. It wouldn't affect your play. Yeah. Because no. if, even if I put a spirit horse. I'm there, still going to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even if I put the three chain rasp. Your I'm going to go for friend? a chain rasp. Yeah. Because it's a good choice. I don't like that unit getting. getting depleted. Well, if you can bog me down there, that's big. No, that's it. I'm looking particularly vulnerable in the back line. I won't lie. The Slan and Skink Star Priest are kind of in no man's land. <laughs> Just chilling out. Um, right. So, that's my hero phase, I think. Yeah. I'll double check. Let me make sure it's on. A lot of guys, combat phase, he does his thing. Oh, I should have done that as well. What's Remind that? us on mm -hmm. when next time we'll play it. When the Lord, uh, the Knight of Shrouds does it, he spawns once for battle round. This unit can do an all-out attack without the command points being spent. All oh, right, so he gets the so shout. So he gets yeah. that. And in the combat phase, when you pick this unit to fight for the first time, which he very hasn't done. Yeah. So it doesn't matter anyway. You can pick one friendly Sunbull unit wholly within 12 of this unit. There's not yet fought in that phase. This unit and the Sunbull unit fight one after the other. That's nice. In, so you can in take all, down in, something big. In the order of your choice. That's That would be nice to kind of take down. Something yeah. like this, or even a Bastilladon. He heals from uh, wounds. He allocates with his sword ah. as well. If any models were slain, he heals one wound. Yeah. And then you add one to his wound characteristics. So there's a yeah. weird thing you can do where you can just keep adding like wounds to it. <laughs> All right. So, so you, if you throw him into enough chaff, you can like. Yeah, you can really build up like. Build up his heart. It's models health. slain, so like skinks would be perfect. Kind of like. You stay away him. from my skinks, <laughs> young man. Uh... <laughs> but um. So at least that wouldn't have affected your combat. No, that's, that's not. It's not going to affect the last game. That's always good to know. So. So, what was I going to do? Hero phase, yes. anything left? No, I don't think no. there is. So, this is the current state of our board, ladies and gents. We have the Night Haunt a little bit penned in, maybe looking like a little bit in trouble. Yeah. Let's see what camp can wrangle out in movement phase. Be right back. Very much. That's my movement phase. All done. So, I've retreated my Chain Rasp and Spirit Host over here. Yeah. Back three and lined my Lord of um, uh, Night Shrouds up. Yeah, for that charge over there, three yep. inches away, and then I have from the underworld planted my black coach and five craven throne guard yeah. over here, trying to see how they do today. So we go into shooting, we go which into, I am not looking forward to. Those poor into, skinks, ladies and gents, into shooting. I believe. Can I shoot when I've deep striked? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You just can't move. Right, sweet. So I'll do the, um, I'll do the craven throne guard first. Yep. Charge up that black coach of yours. Hopefully. So they're gonna all gonna fire into the skinks. They get two attacks each, so I've got ten dice. And you only get the extra attack on the melee weapon of the Yep, sounds good. Of the guy. Yeah, so there's my ten. So thankfully these skinks have bolts for us, Celestia dagger daggers, and the uh, the star bucklers. So rather than a six up, they're on a five up, but nice. still they're gonna fall fall like Pills. I would be so sure. They we'll get, I still get frightful touch with these, so sixes nice. still go off Autos. automatically. Nice. Um, 
you can't hide or go into cover from them because they're spectral bolts. So they'll go through walls. That's sick. So like people garrison in buildings stuff Doesn't like that. Doesn't get the thing because it's just like, oh, you're in a building. Through yeah. the wall. Through the wall. Nice. But cool. um, So there's that. But th- that's not going to affect this little no. engagement anyway. So, ten dice, fours and fours. Do you want to attack? I might as well. I'm got do the, that, yeah. got yeah. the command points for it. Yeah, I'll probably say. Did I still have that one from thingy? Yeah. And then at the end of this turn, we'll do the Emerald Horse. Yeah. I'll remember that. Keep reminding me. I'll remind you. I'll right. remind you. And then, right, so these 10 attacks. Fours, fours. Do you want to all... Oh. You said you all out attacked, so there's a three there. Keep that three. Yeah, it's not terrible. The rest of them are awful. Not terrible. Come on. Fours. Fours again. Not bad. Oh. Two. Two. At minus, the minus one. Minus one, so that puts them on sixes. Fail them both. How much damage is that, my friend? One damage. So that is two skinky boys dead, and that'll charge up your black coach, I'm sure. It will. So that's got two. It started at one, so it'll have three. Three. Very nice. And when it gets to six, it does some special stuff, isn't it? You can unload it with its shooting attacks. Yeah. So now I'm going to shoot with the with the coach. Yeah. So I've got the rider on the soul grasp rider rather than the one with the rather than the one with the scythe that's more melee based. Yeah. So he does D three attacks. So one lucky. Yeah. Yeah. So I one attack the there as well. I know. Fours and threes. Yeah. Unlucky. Nah, unlucky. Not the day. And that's my shooting. Yeah. Right, so charge phase. Does the cruciator have any shooting by any chance? Yes, actually. He does. Just from memory, I think he might he do. Does, yeah, he's got 12 inch. Hit Shoot them the raptors. Got, hit them raptors. Get them out of your face. Oh, that's it. Four attacks. Threes, threes. Very threes, nice. Threes. He's got a nice profile. He yes. does. There you go. Ooh, and a spectral One touch. touch. Two equal three as well. So, nice. So all of them go through at minus two rend. So that goes through. One damage a pop. So three wounds taken. So one. Dies, and the one takes a wound. Yeah. I'll take it. That's good. I yeah, will man. take it. Wearing me down now. Oh, that's it. Okay. Charging. Charge. Right. So the spirit hosts are going to charge in. Yeah. They're in. On a six. So what does a six give us? It's a... I want to see a stone. I will double check, my friend. Because this is uh, this is where things get a bit gritty for yeah, old Tom. Night Hunt have a nice thing. So yeah, just shrieking. So he's uh, I'll get the thing out for it. Got some lovely counters, as we see. Yeah, get we like our counters. Tom. We like our tokens. Shriek minus one to hit. Wookie cookie. So a minus one to hit already. Yep. And nice. Then I want to charge in with my chain rasp. Yep. In on a nine. On a nine. So eight to nine is a stun. So they are also stunned Minus as well. Minus one to save. Okie cokey. And then ch- putting them on a six up save. Yikes. And move forward into there. And big dog's going to charge in, man. On a nine. On a nine. For so another a nine minus one to save. Minus one to save. Now, it just what, stacks, but it doesn't. What you could do is you could add another shriek to it. I want to say you can move down the scale. You can't move up the scale. Yeah, you can, you move can down choose the scale. anyone down the scale, yeah. So I'm already minus one to save. That puts me on sixes. Yeah. If you want to take me to having no save at all, you can do that. Or alternatively, if you want to make sure I don't kill anything coming back. It's, it's how confident you are that you can do five wounds. If you think you can do five wounds, I think put it on the minus one to save. Yeah, I want to put it on the mean? minus one to yeah. save. Yeah. I'm just going to... Stack that one just so you've got. So now everything goes through. It just goes through. You sure that's how it works? Yeah, fairly certain. When me and Jordan stacked it, so you can stack things, it can be pretty grim. Mm, it's grim and enough. worst case, hey, if we're getting it wrong, ladies, yeah. gentlemen, please give us a know. comment. Yeah, let, let us, us know. know. So sure yes. we'll find out in a month's oh, yeah, time when sure, we get the water sure. world and somebody goes, hey, no. You can't <laughs> stack that. Oh, okay. But yeah, so as far as I'm concerned, they don't get a save now. Nice. Does he get any impact hits? He doesn't, I don't believe, even though he's got a spooky horse. Just out of curiosity. The model looks like it. Like yeah, James Workshop have that kind of thing. Up. Yeah. That rearing horse feel of like, yeah, he's going to hit something and uh, hurt it, but I don't think he does. Because I think it's, um, 
It's your so he's, uh, battle line ones that maybe get it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't no impact. Any... No impact hits at all. Whew. So... Okie Kogi. No strike last, so I will get the strike. If I were you, I would pick the thing that you know is going to do five wounds. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to pick my Knight of Shrouds to attack. Sorry, and I'm going to spend in a command point yep. as well. So yep. that when I attack with him for the first time, I can pick another sunnable unit with like yep, immediately absolutely. afterwards. Love when, I, love when I remember stuff. Tech. Oh, tech. Loads of tech. I forgot. I trying the, to find things. They're Mystic it. Shielded. So it's going to be a six up. Yep. Yeah, so, yes, yes. No, that's it. So, that's okay then. No, that's cool. All right. So, the Knight right. of Shrouds. Knight of Shrouds. Trying to gonna... beat my ass. Let's go, boy. Gonna learn a day, boy. You gonna, you gonna learn a day. Gonna learn a day, boy. I swear. So, five attacks, threes and threes, minus one. Frightful touch. Oof. Three hits. Oh, one runner. We got a runner. Oh. We got a runner. So you've got three saves to make. Minus. Uh, minus two. So that's going to go no, through. No, minus one. Still going to go through. Uh, two damage a pop. So he's dead. They're all dead. Whoosh. Get out of here. Hey, get out of here, you. Um, Very nice, Cam. And the Mystic Shield drops as well. Mystic shield drops. Uh, no further combat. Scoring for yourself. So you control one, because yeah. you outnumber me now, yeah. uh, and you get battle tactic for yeah. three. Three. Very nice. Three victory points there. Let's I'll take that. stick that up for Cam. And then we go into the and all then, important role. Oh, no, not yet. That's it. It's my end of battle round. End of battle round. Oh, we're remembering. Host. We're remembering. So I think it's on a two up. Yep. For, so I'll do the slam first. So slam two up. It goes off four. Four. D3. For two. So he's going to get two four rewards for shield of the old one. Uh, he takes one. Nice. The other skink? Yeah. On a two up. And it's two, so he gets one wound. One wound. He does that no ward. So he just takes it. That's a three victory points, wasn't it? Yeah, three victory points there, my friend. And now, the ever important rule for turn. Come on, baby G. Oh, helps if, oh, no. helps, helps <laughs> oh, if no. I get it in. Two. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take it. <laughs> yeah, I would as well. The board dynamic has shifted dramatically. My hammers are gone. My poor, poor hammers. Okie dokie. Um, so to start us off, battle tactic. Right. Oh, at the end of the combat phase mm -hmm. of last turn, yep. oh, I forgot to do something. You get to bring stuff back, don't you? Yeah, can I bring back? Of course you can. A boot? Of course you can. Absolutely. Right, let's have a quick deeks at these battle tactics. Um, I think we're going to go for an Intimidate the Invader angle. So just have more wholly outside of my territory. Yep. I think that's where we're going to go. Yeah. Pretty achievable, he says. Um, so Intimidate the Invaders. Heroic actions, Cam. What would you like to do? I will Heroic Heal. Yep, go for it. So looking to beat a 10. Two dice. Two up. dice, my friend. On the Cruel Ghast. That's it. So D3. He's it's only it. got one wound, so he heals it. Is it? Yeah. I thought you said it was looking to beat a 10. No, no. So it's uh, lower. Sorry. Oh, lower, lower. than 10. Yeah. Right, so he heals it. Yeah, so he's just going to heal. Um, I'm going to try and do the same on my Slam Priest. Which I don't think goes off. Let's just double check. Let's just double check. For every nine. Go on, boy. So D3. Three. So he's back. Back to full. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll two dice. Well, before I do that. I had one cosmic power point remaining from the end of last turn. I'm going to gain three for having a realm shaper, having a slan, and having a star priest. So that takes me up to four. Awesome. Nice. And there's four. Get in. I'm getting better at finding them. <laughs> now I roll two dice for some extra command points. So I get one extra, putting me on three command points. Nice. Excellent. Um, we now go into some dumb shit. Um... Let's just quickly. Actually, I don't really think it's going to come in handy. Suffocating Grave Tide won't come in too handy. Um, 
The slam's going to cast Celestial Equilibrium on a three. Um, we didn't generate any... Oh, Arcane Dice before before we go too far ahead. Um, neither of us generate, so yeah. Oh, that doesn't make a difference. So Celestial Equilibrium, not going to go off. He is going to cast Shield of the Old Ones again. Perils! God damn. D3 for two. And he's forgotten Shield of the Old Ones. Oh, shoot. Look, uh, there goes my four-up ward for him. So I think uh, Emerald Co Curse is going to start hitting a bit more. Yeah. Um, damn. And he can't cast anymore. Huh. There, goes oh. my, uh, there goes my generation this turn. The Star Priest is going to cast Speed of Haunchy. Yes. Five. Now, let me just double, 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 double check this. Because if it's wholly within range, whoo, bad times ahead. Um, if it's not, get in. Come on, baby, show me. 18. 18 inches. All right, let's see. I'm fairly certain. Yes. Okay. Um, so that goes off. They can make a normal move roll. Or a normal. Can I try and dispel it? Certainly can. Nah. No problem. We don't add primal dice either. We've never got the no. Um, mm. So, skinks move eight inches. Get out of here, Scoob. I really just want that objective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then this way, hopefully, I'm a bit more out of range for your um, your coach as well. Yeah. So I'm just making sure they're going to zigzag a bit. So we keep our coherence here. Sliding, sliding, sliding. Happy days. Um, he gets a free cast of Mystic Shield. Oh, Arcane Vault, he's going to try, and uh, Mystic Shield on the Escaladon, which goes off on a six. So, Mystic Shield comes back to me. Come back, Mystic Shield. There we are, on the Basildon. He's now on a one-up. Happy days. Um, <laughs> if only you could get a one-up. So, that is going to be the end of Hero Phase for Seraphon. A bit of a, bit of a crap one, if I'm being totally honest. Didn't get the first cast. Uh, miscast on the second. And to be honest, Slan's where a lot of my generation comes from. Um, for getting the Speed of Haunchy off, I would get an additional one. And for the Mystic Shield, I would get an additional one. So that would put me on... Um, I get... I had four... Six. Neither now nor something, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Neither now nor something. Um, with that... Hero phase is complete. This is the current state of our board. Starting to flip now. Yeah. Be right back with you after I've done my movement. All right. That is my movement completed. Um, we have managed to move the skinks up a whole bunch, as you can see over here. Basically just trying to cap this back objective off cam. The next bit we did was we moved the Bastilladon up three inches away, just from his uh, Knight of Shrouds on speed. Yep. Got it there. And the Ripidons have moved three inches away from the Spirit Hosts. I'm just going to try and get the Spirit Hosts down to remove some shrugs that Cam can do on his heroes. Just to take away, I, I want to get that minus one aura away from him mm -hmm. because that's that's big. So they've moved three inches away as well. Skink Priest, or the Skink Starseer, rather, sorry. Um, he just totted up to follow the Skinks up the board. Having said that, we now go to shooting. So it's 16 inches. Okie cokey. 16 inches on them skinks with their bolt spitters. Going to be 20 shots. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. And I'm going to all out attack for a command point. So rather than fours and fives, it's going to be threes and fives. Still not great. But here we go. We have two Ooh. runners. We have runners! Uh, okay, so it was threes and fives that we needed to succeed on. Fair few old G's in there. Still not bad roll. Not bad. 
Not bad for some skins. Mate, when they just did like mortal wounds on sixes, God love them. <laughs> okay, fives. Uh, <laughs> one. You get one save. Uh, oh. No rend into your um, Knight of Shrouds, my friend. Oh. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I shot. Yes. Go skinks. Go skinks. Okay. Oh, he killed. He slayed a model, didn't he? He did slay a model. Can I heal that one? You certainly can. Yeah, yeah, you certainly can. Yeah, he's full health, isn't he? Um, okay, that Sorry is... That. No, you're all right. That is the conclusion of shooting. No other shooting to do. So now we're going to the charges. We'll do the Ripidons. Three. God bless. Three-inch charge. That was nearly double ones. Screw it. Screw it. And uh, screw it. There we go. Um, the Bastilladon, again... Don't double one me. Okay, nine inches. That's very nice. We are just going to go like this. Bit of Tokyo drifting around. I want that. Give me it, please. Swinging his big tail. Swinging his big old booty. Um, that is combat phase beginning. Monstrous rampages for myself. I will attempt to. Ah, uh, do I roar you so you can't discorporate? Or do I just stomp thee? Stomp thee. <laughs> How many wounds does he have, Cam? Just out of curiosity. Ah. I want to say it'll be like eight, nine. It's not a great deal. Is that the one on Steed? On yes, the Steed, my, my friend. He has a total of six wounds. Six wounds. Ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. He has that nice ability to heal some of them back. back so it's, you've got to kind of, you can whack him, kill him. We're going to go with a roll. If we can get the dice in the tray. I think he was, he used to be seven, but I think for this battle tome, they've changed, changed slightly the, down. This, the um, stolen hours so that it adds one to the wound's characteristic. Ah. So if he, so actually. So you're on seven, I would say. And if you add one to the wound's characteristic of this unit. Yep, so you're on seven. Because you killed something. So I failed my raw. Got a one. Nice. Nicely done. Monstrous Rampages are over. So now I think I'm going to pick the Ripperdons. Because I believe in that Bastilladon. He's he's got some he's on a two up save, man. He's gonna be good. Okay, so the war spears first. It's two attacks each, but then of course plus one for the champion. Getting there. Mm -hmm. uh, fours and fours, Cam. So, quite a few sixes in there. Shame they do nothing. Fours. So, that is two saves, Cam, into the Spirit Hosts. The Spirit Hosts? Yeah. Ooh. Four up? I think, I think they might be even worse on their own. Like, if you just directly attack them. Yeah. Four up? No. You're right. So, two, four up, yeah? Yep. <sighs> Sorry, mate. Oh, nice. Whoa. Very nice. Okay, the Tearing Jaws. This is three attacks each, fours and threes. Oh, not a good roll there. And now we're looking for some threes this time. Um, so two are going through. No rend for you, of course. So one goes through. It would normally be two damage, but because of your aura, it's only one. Yeah. No, so it. one ward. Unlucky, so no, the spirit host three. takes one. One wound, so he's on two. That's mine, isn't it? Yeah, that's yours, yeah. Oh, that should be on two. And that... Is that your strikes back, mate? Where would you like to go? Mm, I'm probably going to go with my... Low, how many um, command points do I have at the moment? You have way? three. Three. Doing too bad. I'm it's probably going to use one of them. Yeah. And attack with my. Or was it once per battle? I'll check. If it was once per battle, then I'm. Used. To do the back to backs. So Cam's looking to see. Oh, that's can... once per battle round. Uh, and then in the combat phase, when you pick this unit to fight for the first time. There you go. Yeah, no, that's it. It's war squad. So you make it do. So. The champion can fight, and then he can issue a pick command. The sun will one to fight. Immediately afterwards. Awesome. So the Knight of Shrouds is going to bash me head in. Um, yeah, he's just going to... 
So the Bastildon is normally on a two-up save. He is Mystic Shielded. So he's on a one-up, just protecting me against a little bit of Ren there. So five attacks. Yep. Three for three, so minus one. Yep. Six goes through. They all fail. Frightful. Nice. So one save. What's the rend on that, my man? It is minus one. So that puts me on my two. -up. He's oh, okay. Nice. Uh, I need to roll for the frightful as well, sorry. Are you still okay? Gets two attacks for his horse. Yep. Ghostly hooves and teeth. Falls and falls. So one goes through. Unlucky. Yeah. Okay, the way the cookie crumbles. That is the way the cookie do be crumbling. He's better okay. in there, chap. I think because it gets the slam. Yeah, he drinks don't get me wrong. Things. This thing is ridiculous. Like, yeah. 180 something points for something with a 2 plus save, 12 wounds. Oh, and, or and non sixes, I do models. Like, sick. why would I not take that at the minute? It's oh, it's uh... something that I can see getting a little bit of a, a change because we're just. I mean, Seraphon's strong enough at the minute. We, It is our only kind of carpet, I feel like, but. Because yeah, nice. against anything else, warriors just seem to get kind of chinned. Yeah, um, no, that's it. Okay, this is the Art of Sotek. 20 attacks. It's fours and threes. But the Skink Champion is going to issue a command to him to all out attack. Right. Okay. So it's going to be threes and threes. No rend. Any sixes, do mortals. Can I just cooperate? You certainly can, because I failed my roll. Right. Okay, I'm going to just cooperate on my... So you've got one... Oh. All right, so... Let's take the sixes out. That was so six. On one command point. So we have five mortal wounds done there, and we now are picking out our threes. Yeah. Well, anything that isn't a three. Get away. Okay. We're looking at some threes again here, ladies and gents. Um, failing nice. two. So that is... Three, six. Six normal saves, mate. Okie duck. Against my... The shroudy man yeah. on the steedy. The shroudy steedy. Four ups. Not bad. So three of them go through. So you've got... The eight ward saves. Eight ward saves. Discorporated, so five. I, I believe. I believe. I believe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One of them saves. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah, hate to see it. You hate to see it, but I'm impressed by him this game. Even he's done some work. He has done a little bit of work. Ooh. He's done some work. Um, your next combat. You have to pile into the closest unit if you want to pile in. So it's two inches there. It's probably like two inches there as well. So it's your choice. Where you would pile in if you wanted to pile in with the chain rasps? Mm. It's a toughie. The Bastildon's four. The Ripidactyls are four. So I'm not going to strike you back, but of course it's, it's next turn. I'm just going to keep them there. Yep, okie cokey. Um, um, to be honest, I might. No, I'll just keep them there. The Bastildon's are the tar pit. Yeah. You could all, you haven't also fought with the spirit hosts just yet. No, that's it. Um, if it was me, these don't have a very good save at all. You probably clear them if you put the chain rasp in as well. Yeah, just opens up my hero. It does a lot. open up the hero. Um, it's a toughie. I'm just gonna leave them there. Yeah, I don't want them to float. Sounds good, bro. Too far away from my hero because that's when they start. I start losing them. Yes, I need to keep them alive. Go for it, bro. Even though you're probably gonna. You can't pile in with that now, Bobby, because it's attacked. That's all done. Yeah, right, that yeah. is so all it's just done. The riders. I'll just get the six attacks each from the spirit horse. Yes, sir. Uh... Six, four, eight, two, eight. Yeah. Oh, show. Any frightfuls? No. Yeah, no frightfuls. Unfortunate on the frightful front. Not looking too bad though. Yeah, it's alright. There's some damage. Three going through, no rend. So three five ups. 
Uh, no, I take them all. How much damage? Just one damage. One a pop. So one rider perishes. Off he goes to a new battle. Um, that is it. End of combat. Um, I score one for one, one for two, one for more. And I'm going to get battle tactic. So it gives me another five points. Sick. And it flips over to you, you Cam. Um, battle tactic to pick first. Could be a reprisal angle. If you think you can do... Well, actually, that's a bugger of a reprisal angle. Um, Intimidate the invader, potentially. Mm, no. So you're quite locked in. Might be time for a night haunt one. Yeah, it might be. It's a hard one. I've got you in a bit of a hard position. I feel like this list has kind of done what it needed to do. Oh. And it surprised me a lot more than I, I thought it was going to. The, the Raptodons did an awful, awful lot of work there. I'm going to... What are you going to do when they come for you? Which one are you thinking, friend? Oh, can't, do, can't do that one. It's a good one for night one, though. Reprisal. Or the one on the back. Bait and trap. Oh, yes, bait and trap. But, like... You'd need I three have... to retreat. Is that it's right? Two, two. two retreat and two to charge. But I've only got one unit in. Well, technically, they're in combat. So they could retreat. Oh, yeah. Three inches, isn't it? yeah. Yeah, I'm so going to take bait you, and trap. You can retreat out. You're going to have to retreat this way, though. I think that's going to be the only... And then well, if no, I fail you, the fly, charge. you fly, so, so you can go backwards. But it, obviously, that's the only thing, is it potentially puts your heroes in a bit of a skewy position. You can maybe move the heroes back, kind of, and then retreat back. Yeah. But it has to be two different units to then charge. So you'd be looking at, like, maybe your heroes to be charging into the skinks. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah, a bit man. of a toughie. But to be fair, you probably guarantee to score it. He spiked really hard last turn. I won't lie. Um, it's mm. it's tough. It is a tough one. Put him in a difficult position here on, uh, on turn three. I should update the turn counter. That would help. That would help you people at home, you lovely, lovely people. Turn three. It's a very tough decision. Hmm. <gasps> I'm not sure. I'll have a quick look at the night haunt yeah, ones. Yeah, of course. See. I could just do the two terrified ones, couldn't I? Yeah. Battle tactics. At least two friendly night units within half of the same enemy unit this turn. At least two friendly night hunt units are within half an inch of the frame. I'll do that one. Then I'll do tide to terror. Yeah. Yeah. So. What I would still probably do is I would still end up maybe retreating. Yeah. Just for like a bit more of a guaranteed charge on you. Just so if it was myself, avoid him. Yeah. He's just the pit. But you can knock them down fairly easy. I mean, three wounds a piece. I can't pile him in. It'd have to be a charge. Right, yep. Yeah, I'll do that then. Okie so, dokie. Heroic actions to start us off heroic with. Heroic actions. What, I'm, do? what would you like to do? I'll do a heroic recovery on yep. this guy. So Two it... dice, lower than a ten. Yep. Yeah. So he heals that one wound. Um, I will attempt to... I should probably attempt a heroic recovery my slam. This is dumb. I did. Or d3. But two, he's back to full. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So that's my hero phase. I don't think I can do anything else with these heroes in the hero phase. So then I'll go on to movement. Yes. Yep. So this is the current state of our board. Yep. We'll, we'll be come right back. back. Yep. Right. So. This is how the board's looking now. What I've done is I have retreated my spirit hosts and my chain rasps up further into this objective yep. with the intention now of trying to charge back in 
and get some of them, stack them bonuses and yeah, hopefully not kill it. Yes, that's going to be the big the big kind of jab jab here is going to be can I not do six wounds this turn? So I've got a way to kind of help it, I think. So if I roll high on the charges, I'm going to take the movement to pick lower. Yes. So we're going to try and see where that's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Translocated the coach because it can just move through the underworld. Yeah. So rather than using its move, I just wanted to plonk it there. Yeah. So now it's nine away from these skinks. Move the Craven Throne Guard up into this objective here so that they can get some, uh, hopefully, some shooting off as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm going to start shooting. No, start shooting. Yep. Yep. Shooting phase. The six Craven Throne Guard. So six, six shots. Go for a friend. The three guards, sorry, get yep. six shots. We also realise spectral bolts. Yep. And realise that uh, it isn't a turn three. I'm two I'm hits. An idiot. It's actually turn two. It's just going so dang quick. Two wounds. So you've got four saves to make. Onto the skinks. Minus. Yep. Any minuses? Yep. Minus one. So how many saves again? Sorry. Two saves normally, isn't it? And then yep. you've got so you've got four. Four saves. Cool. Fives. Uh, one spinner. So I save one, three go through. One damage. One damage, so that's going to be three skinks. Leaving the battlefield. Nice. Uh, that was within 12 of my... Oh, yeah. Coach. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, unlucky. It just out. Ah! Uh, I don't know. I'd give... Do you go from the horses? You go from the base, don't you? Yeah, from base. So... 12 inches. I would say no, you would have got it. Yeah, you get it. You get them three. You sure? Yeah. So that goes up to six. So now the coach is going to D3 attacks. Fours and threes. Yep. Gets four, so two attacks. Yep. One frightful. One frightful, which just goes through. Any minuses? It's minus two. So that definitely goes through. Two damage. Two damage. There we go. It's going to then unleash its necromantic energy. Yep. Stay six up there every time. Da -da -da, up to a maximum of six. If the vice value is a five to six, this unit has a four ward of four up instead of five up from the instantial form once per turn in your shooting phase. If the vice value beside this unit is six, you can say it will unleash its stored necromantic energy. If you do so, pick one enemy unit within 12 of this unit and roll a dice. On a two up, that unit suffers three D3 mortal wounds. Ooh. And then change the vol value of the dice back to one. Right, oh. So, I roll, I roll a dice. Roll that dice. And on it, was it on a two up? There it is. You get three D3. This is going to hurt, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's going to hurt. So three, six, nine. Nine, nine mortal wounds, yep. correct? Nine mortal wounds on your skinks. Fuck. Okay. Three, six. It's a good job I'm used to picking up handfuls of skinks, isn't it? Nine. Needed, okay. I needed that. You needed that. There we go. There's a, there's a, a gaggle of skinks taken away. All right. So... Charge phase. Charge. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. All right. Just these units over here. Yep. So I'm going to go for the spirit horses first. Okie dokie. Don't let me down, boys. This Just need the threes. Just. What? So that's a four. Four. Yep. Just get it. Yeah, absolutely. To there. Oh. <gasps> Just destroying things. Oh, it's fine. I do it all the time. Right, so that minus one, I'll put it right there. And that was on a four. Does that generate any special? Uh... I think just. It's on a four, two, some things. I think the four is the first one you can do it on. I will double check for you, though. No, no, absolutely. Still a bit rusty What's on. the effect? The effect is a shriek, so it's nice. subtract one. Okay. But I'm only going to pick subtract ones. So even, you... if I, even if I get a big roll yeah, on these chain just transfer rats, them down. I'm just going to make it a buff event to you hurting me yeah. rather than... Yeah, a pro against me hurting you. No, absolutely. I, I actually don't want to kill them in a strange it's turn a of events. It's a strange turn of events, yes. But, like, for my battle tactic, I just need to get them near each other. Yeah, sounds good. 
They're yeah. in, so they're in. And that's another minus one to hit. You don't have to use all the movement, do you? No, you don't have to. So can I just put two in? Yep. I'll do that then. Clever oh, moves. Three will be in one. But then I can go within half an inch and then just... Yep. Boop. And then I'm just going to give them another minus one to hit, even though it doesn't... Yep. Yeah, so just shrink them twice. Okie dokie. It's going to put me on sixes so, to hit. Combat phase. I'm going to attack with the... Um... Who's going to take a swing first, do we think? The spirit host. Ooh. Because. Okay. Because. Because. If I can kill this one. Yep. They won't be in for the combat, will they? No. Oh, but then I won't get my... Yes. Oh, no. It has to be within half an inch, doesn't it? Yes. So I have to kill this one if one dies. Well, I get to select which one goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh, no, no. You want to whiff everything, really? Yeah, I do. I do. Right, so 12 attacks. <laughs> Six. And... I'll take you. Grab a few, yeah. Six. Seven. Fours and fours, I think it is for... Yeah. That's what oh, you needed. I... One frightful and one success. Two successes. Why did I? Why did I just not just go with it? The people at home would know that I'd be, I'd be a fraud. So it was four, wasn't it? Three, three. Yep. Okay. And so four, so two go through. Minus anything? No. Okay. No so rate. five ups. You want me to save these? Nope. Fail on both. Two damage. Yeah. Okie dokie. Um, uh, do happy me. Yeah. It's been me. So uh, two damage on that one, Thanks. and then it's my attacks back. Yeah. So we go two attacks each for the war spears. I'm hitting on sixes now. All right. Um, four sixes. Strangely enough, one of them hits. On a four, nothing. Now we get the mount, which you're gonna get three attacks each. Uh, sixes still. Nothing. Okay, Cam, your attacks. Try not to kill me. How many chain rasps are in? Three. I mean, well, is it three or two? If it's one inch, two. Two. Right. Oh, what happens to me? I should have done it backwards. <laughs> oh, he gets an extra attack. <sighs> the things you don't think about. It's too late there. I, I feel like we're, we're Jordaning here. We we're, are. We're like, oh, min max, min max, min max. Min max. That's it. But you need it. I'm trying to channel my inner Jordan. Yep. Jordan, shine on him. He deserves it. Shine on him. Praise me. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got three attacks from our leader, two attacks for the other guy. Yep. Here we go. Please fail. I've never ever said this in my, <laughs> in my time playing Warhammer, but right, fours and fours. One frightful. Fuck it. Do you want to fuck this? Oh, no. Two go through. Uh, no rend. So two at no rend. Mm -hmm. Five ups. Yep. Here we go. Oh, I was so close to making it. <laughs> One of them's going to perish. Unlucky. You were so close. So, so close on that. Okay. Um, combat finishes. Let's score you up, Cam. What do you own? You have one. Unfortunately, no battle tactic. Is that right? Yep, I lost me battle tactic. So ah. one, two objectives. Two objectives. Where's your... Yep, two, two. Um, do you have more? No. So just two victory points. Two victory points. How many are you on now? I'm on five. Uh, I'm on ten, you're on five. Oh. Oh, hoo -hoo. Oh. Here we go. Rolling for turn. Right. Ready? Wah! Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, God. All right, Nighthorn, turn three. Here we go. Oh, can I heal with my guy? Yep, do you heal your stuff? Um, More than welcome, my good sir. <gasps> can I? Yeah, of course you can. You can bring back chain wraps. To the point where I'm in... I think so, yeah. I don't believe there's any limit. From my memory. 
Because you could, do you know what I mean? Just so the unit gets in. Oh, yeah, no, that sounds good to me. Is good. that, please leave us a comment. Let us know if I've duped them. Mm -hmm. It brings back three slain models. Yep. Or a model with the wounds characteristic of three. Yep. Or over. For the value of. So, yeah. And then I get my battle tactics. That's two. So I'm mm -hmm. on seven. Oh. Rocking back and see if we can get it. So. Battle tactic, my friend. Battle tactic. What are you thinking? <sighs> what are you thinking? I've just done my night hunt one. Yep. So. Okay. It's a toughie. It is a tough one. Turn three, I always say this in the last few games that I've played. Turn three seems to be like where battle tactics get a bit hard. Yeah. In terms of if you don't have maybe some like faction specific ones to fall back on. Yeah. Um, Cam's in a bit of a struggly list just purely because we're playing this season's rules um, for the wizards aspect of it. Yeah. So you, you lose out quite a bit on that. Obviously, when the, the the reason we're playing this game is we're going to the contest of generals event at Warhammer World um, this month, actually. So we're just trying to get some one K games in to brush ourselves up on how best to kind of play these armies. The beauty of the uh, the Warhammer World event is it's contest of generals, so it's kind of your bog standard battle tactics a lot more easy. This one's mine, etc., yeah. etc. So I'm gonna go for mass panic. Mass panic, okay, okay. Complete this tactic at the end of the turn if three or more enemy units on the battlefield are terrified. Sounds good. So I've just got to get three units of yours to terrified. Be terrified. Easy. Which just means in range with this night hunt. Easy. Nice, Even easy one. Charging either. these ones in. Yeah. Heroic actions, Cam. Let's go. I'm going to um, roll for a command point. Go for it, my friend. Check it. Who's Four it going on? Yeah. I'm going to put it on this, this, this guy. Sounds right. good. Um, I'm, was that the end of a battle It round was. Well. Let's do Emerald Horse quickly. Emerald Horse quickly before we move on. So for this guy, yep. it's on a two up. It goes. It. D3. For two. Puts him on three. He's got two wins left. The Slan. The Slan. On a two up. I get it. Ah, uh, one. One. So, I think it's one wound. Uno. Uno dos tres. Where is one? There it is. Right. Okie dokie. So, <clears throat> I'll do... So, heroic actions. Heroic actions, I you've have... Ro you've got the command point. I'm going to try and heroic heal, or whatever that is. No, I'm not. He's feeling very confident. Um, yeah. Arcane dice. Uh, I do not generate. Cam, do you generate yep. an arcane dice? No. no. No arcane dice this round. Now we go into hero phase. Do you have any hero stuff for yourself to do? I actually don't think I no. do. No. Can I rally? You certainly could attempt to rally. Who are you trying to rally? The spirit horse? You wouldn't be able to because they're in combat. That's the only ah, thing. Right. You've got to be out of combat to start rallying. How about these over here? They could rally for certain. Yeah. yeah. So it's a um, command point, I believe. And you roll two dice, six as they come back. Unlucky. Ooh. Unlucky. Hmm. Right. So, into movement. This is the current state of our board. We'll be right back after Cam's done it. Right. Two seconds. This is my movement. What I've done is I've moved these Craven Front Guard up here. Yep. I've moved my Black Coach into this objective here. Yep. And I didn't retreat them, but I'm probably going to. That's yeah, all right. Just quickly before. Of course. They just need to slide out. That's slide three. back three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was on two. So they've slid back. And I'm on to shooting and then move Shoot. on to charging. Yes, sir. Right. So I think the skink pre uh, the skink Stasi is probably gonna perish this uh this turn here. Do you think? Yeah. If you shoot him, he's uh two wounds left. Not a great save. Five yeah. up save, bit of a bit of a cloth save if I've ever seen one. Worse than a gargan. My word. I'm boy. gonna shoot. My cruel gas cruciator first. Okay. I want to see if he can take it. down a pterodon. <laughs> yeah. A ripodon rather. With just just as phantasmal magic. Hey, three wounds. Before committing them in anywhere yeah. else, because three wounds. So nice. Uh... I reckon it can be done. Do you think? How many attacks you get for? Yep. Four attacks. I mean, who else would you put it on realistically? No, that's it. 
So so it's threes and threes. Yep. Go off, King. Go off, King. Go off, King. At minus two rend. It's dead. One damage, yeah. Yep. Nice. So <laughs> take that out. Very good. Very, very good. So that's that shooting done. Yeah. Move on to the black coach. Yeah. And which, what's the out of curiosity, what's the range of the black coach? Twelve. Twelve. Which is why it pairs nicely just with, out. Yeah, just with out. These. Yeah, yeah. Out of range of just getting that charge up. Oh yeah. No, yeah. no, I get that. Um so they're gonna shoot? Who are they gonna shoot? Do you reckon? Well, I'll do the crib in front. God, yes. Yeah. So that's six attacks. They are going to shoot the Star Priest. I will... Do I allow defense? I think he's pretty fucked either way. I'll allow defense for a command point. Bugger it. Why not? Go for it, friend. All out defense? Yep. All out defense? You want to hit me with an all out attack? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think I will. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, all my counters are wrong. I'm a tier one I'm on. No, it's fine. The, the main counter is the victory points. And that's, no, that's on the it. computer, so that's okay. Right, that's sweet. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> so, six attacks. Yeah. It was fours and fours. So threes and fours because of the all-out attack. Threes and fours. See, that's what you that's get from rolling. Six, oh. Just re-roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll re Take one out and re-roll. That's Okay. So six attacks. Shit. Definitely six this time. So three. Yeah. Gonna get two fails. Two fails. And then your fours. Fours. Not bad. Yes. Three going through. Minus. Minus one, I wanna say. So. Yeah, minus one. Keeps me on my five up. One damage. One goes through. Oh, they rally on a five up when they've got the banner bearer in as well. Ah! Uh, that's what I'm forgetting last time. Today we learned. Today we learned. So he's alive on a single wound. On a single wound? A single wound. I'll take that. He rolled hot on his uh, on his saves. Oh yeah, that's in, that's in distance. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, so. Skink Star Priest, we hardly knew thee. Yep, I'm probably going to do that on him. Black Coach's D3 attacks. Yep. Which I get That's three. Go. Two going uh, through. Two hit, one's spectral touch. Yep. And that so wounds. I have two saves. Minus, minus two. Um, so it goes through. It goes through for two damage a pop. He is dead. Nice. And I believe you'll generate from that. Yep. You'll, uh, so your black yes, coat will go head oh, back. It'll go back from one to two. Yeah. Okie dokie. Um, shooting phase. Done. Done. Yep. Yeah. Charge. Charging. Right. I am going to. It's a toughie. It's a toughie. I'm going to go for your slam with them Craven Throne God. Yes. They're going to go boomers. See if they can. Six. Six so... Oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah, you needed a six. So yeah. to be honest, you probably only needed five. So they can head on in. Yeah, if you sh you can probably, I'd say you can shuffle him around, and then you can get him in as well. Yeah. And you can uh, pile in as well. Yeah, that, that's see. exactly it. Right, so that's him. In. That's a big one. I just need them to live now, please. Yep. Is he good in combat? He's trash. <laughs> <Is> he? <laughs> yeah, he's hot trash. Right, the coach is gonna charge. Yep. Three. Was it three or was it four? I think it's in, you know. Yep. If it's in, it's in. I've got one of these. These are better. It's in. Is that within half an inch? Yep. So Not you're, you're that, within half an inch of this. Yep. So, we'll so just you can move. slide. It would slide. Like that, yep. And then. You're within three. So, so you can pile in. Pile you, can in. Do, you can hit the old Tokyo Drifty. Right. I'll pile in three. Yep. To be within half an inch of him. I should have raised him a bit more, I think. It's a nightmare with them horses on. Yeah. They're beautiful. They're, They're beautiful. beautiful. So, right, so if you're piled in, normally that's you selecting to go with him. So would you want to do the 
I'll give you the option. <sighs> it's going to have to pick, after this unit makes a charge move, pick one enemy unit within one. So that would be before piled in. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I'll do that now. Do it, do so it, do I'll it. Do these skinks. Yep, go for it. On a two up, you suffer D3 mortal wounds. Two I up. Do. Three. Oh, no. Jesus. Only the champion is left. And then, yeah, she probably would have just piling on in. That in yeah. The... You, you would still get your attacks, don't worry. Yeah. Right. So. Into. So, who are you the, attacking into? The Bastilodon, do you think? Oh, what did he charge on there? A three. So, there's no effect there. They were on a six, though, weren't they? They were. So, I'll get minus one to hit. Yep. The Shriek, your slam. Smash it. I'll get that. Yep. Put so them on a these four. guys are going to start, try and charge. Yep. So they looking for a three on the spirit host, but to be honest, probably something higher so you can get the chain rasps in as well. Yeah, probably. Six will six. do it. Six will do it. Here's the tape measure, my friend. Thank you very much. A six will do it. And them chain rasps are going to charge. And what does a six do again? A six is a first bracket, I believe. So, four, seven. so yeah, it'll be hit. A minus one to hit. That's a nice minus one to hit there. And the chain rasp. Yep. Oh, they're in. Oh, nice On an eight. eight. Which I think gets me into the next. Yeah, I want to say that's going to be minus one to save. I think so. Which is me. Strike last is It's ten, like right up there, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it is. There it is. Yeah. So eight to nine is a stun. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to nullify my Mystic Shield, putting me firmly on in my two up save. I'm gonna put that there. So that. Yeah. Yep. The poor Bastilodon is getting ganged on. Ganged on. You can do it, Mr. Bastilodon. I've seen you do it. Okay. All of charges are done. Who's going to do to combat be fair, first? Though, I need it a lot. That's really weird. Yeah. I just don't, I just He'll a, live. I've, I've got a reluctance to kill your stuff. He'll live. Have you got summoning points? Um, Next turn, I probably might if nice. you don't kill my slan. You're very close right. to tabling me. No, I know. It's really weird because I, I don't think I've ever tabled anyone, but I don't want to because I want to score the score. battle tactics yeah, so yeah. that I actually win. It's a strange one. So uh, he probably lives here. He's on a two-up save. Yeah, so he, he's, he's minus one to save, though. So he's still two-up because of Mystic Shield. Oh, shit. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to cast that for free, didn't you? Yeah, got it for free. All right, sick. <laughs> so... I'll do the Craven Throne Guard yeah, first because they're not they're, they're not terrible, but they're not great for combat. Like they're not like yeah, they're fucking shit. <laughs> I will oh You got any rend? No, not in not in close range combat, so they're pretty shit. I will all out defence myself. Because I'm scared. Attacks. Got four attacks. Yep. Fours and then threes. Yes, sir. So two go through. Is that off? Yep. yep. And then threes. Yep, both of them go through. No, so no minus, so I am on a three up. One oh, goes nice. through for a single damage. Yep. Takes him to two. That did? Yep. The Bastilodon right. is probably gonna try and slap something. Try well, uh, Monstrous Rampage would be stomping on your chain rasps. Goes off for D. Three, Ooh. so for three, so you get three six up wards on that. Come on. Oh, unlucky. Um, the black coach. Because I don't like it anymore. Four, six, eight, <laughs> ten. It hurt my skinks. Three, five. You're very close to turbo. Five. Oh. You are very close. So, this is fours and fours. 
And six is Doom Mortal. Everything's into the black coach here, of course. So, just grabbing the sixes first. Not a great roll. Um, get out. You get out. Not a great roll at all. Um, so two saves to take. On no mind. Yes. It gets a... What's it say? Four up. Four up. So two four ups. The unit is... Increase the value of his dice type. Just checking something on the black coach rules. Yeah, yeah. it's got a ward of five up. Nice. Okay. Um, if it's got a five to six, it's got a ward of four up instead, but it hasn't, it hasn't just yet. So that's nice. So, so you got fours. these fours. So how many is that? Three. It was two. Two. Fours and then. Saves one of them. Four. So then we had three sixes. So that is four five ups. Four five ups. Oh, -ho. nice. Nearly. Two goes through. So that turns a three into a five. No, a four. Yep. No, five, yeah. And then it is basically your combat next. Where would you like to go? Nice. I'm going to go... They've fought they over fought there. They've fought over there. You've only got that skink and the slant of fight back on you. Yes. I'm going to go... And this is fought. That's fought. Probably just going to go into the, the still of Yeah. What are you going to hit me with? <clears throat> The black coach is going to hit you. Yeah. So one attack with the Sawgrass Reach at um, three inch range. Yep. So it's fours and threes. Yes, sir. Nope. Nope. Unlucky. So you get the Reap. You know, he doesn't have the Reap of Scythe on him. So then you get Spectral Claws, which is nine. Yep. That's three. Nine. Oh, quite a few frightful touches There's there. There's a few frightfuls, yeah. Not a bad roll at all, really. Yeah, it's quite a nice one. And then pulls the fours. Yep. So one goes through there with the three frightfuls. So, so four saves at minus one. So minus one puts them on a three up save. Um, so one goes through. How much damage, my man? One. Uno. The count begins. There we go. One. And eight attacks for the hooves. Yep. On the coach. Fours and fours. Okie dokie. <sighs> Quite a few frifles there. Three again. Getting them sixes coming out now. Two hits. Nah. Nope. So three frightfuls. Yep. No rend. No rend. So twos. Uh, one goes through. Takes him up to two. And that's that in combat. Um, Slant Star Master. Yep. Gets six attacks. Threes, threes. Let's see. Oh, he's angry. All of them hitting. Threes again. Um, four go through. Four go through. On the Craven Throw. Oh, God. Yeah. So it's four. Four ups. Yep. Oh god. -hoo 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 -hoo. They're like, Hot nah, rolling. nah, this is your lightning. Not today. Not today, <laughs> sir. Um, your next combat, my friend. So you've got uh, these two now. Spirit I'm gonna host or the chain master. It's all you hosts. now, really. It's all you. Yeah. I'm going to pick the spirit host yep. to fight. So. Um, so we've got six attacks each. Yep. I think it's fours and fours. Okie okay, dokie. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no, I get one skink attack. Woohoo! Oh, you do? Get in, boy! Falls and falls. Well, that changes things. It does you know, really that. change everything. <laughs> falls and falls. No! Two, three go through. Oof. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Again, I don't really need to kill things. I need to stay in combat them. Two go through. Two go through. Yep. Any minuses? Nope. Uh, twos. He's good. He's good. Kind of wish he was dying, to be totally honest with you. Yeah. But, no. uh, 
So that was the spirit host. Um, Shane Rasps now. Well, the one skink. The one mighty skink. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no. He's got this, my friend. <laughs> Two attacks because he's the champion. Fives and fives. Hiya! He's mad. One of them hits. Whoa! No, okay, never mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, now the chain rasp, buddy. Okay, so I've got five there. Oh, sorry, mate. I might Fisher. go down for the interview. Principal's asked us to come down. Oh. Sorry. Worst As we do. were. Whenever you're ready, just drop us back in. Right. So, I was going to fight with my chain rasps. Chain rasps, that's right. I've got three for my leader. Two. Four. Five. Here five. we go. Go. Do, 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 do. And the still it on. They are absolutely tanking this game, though. Yeah. I really like chain rasps. I think they, they get the... the your um, oh, it's going to charge move as well, isn't it? They have indeed. I'd want the wound rolls as well. So you are fours and threes? Fours and threes, yep. A few frightfuls again. Yeah, three frightfuls. I'm doing well for them. You game. are. Fours and threes, so they'll fail two crits. So. Oof. Hey. So that's five saves to make. Yep, any no minus? Rend. No rends. No rends, so twos. Ah, he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Oh, happy days. That two saves really nice. It, it's so good for the point value, man. Like I don't blame you for taking it. Tanking all of that in a combat and coming out with two wounds. Yeah, yeah I'll take that. I oh, will take that. Um, that is the end of combat. We head to your scoring. Yep. I get my battle tactic. Yep. Because it's three or more night hunt units. So within of, of terrified. Yeah. Is that true? Was that how it was worded? I'm sure it was something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was. So I'll you get your check. battle tactic. Yep. You're going to have one, two. Two? Two, yeah. yeah. Keep the battle tactic. Three or more enemy units in the battlefield are terrified. So I get two. And then how many? How many? So you've got one. Yep. Two. Two. I don't know because you've got to be, you've got to select which one you want to be on. Oh, so right. I'm just trying to think. You've got to give one up to me, yeah, regardless, no, unfortunately. Yeah, so you've got one, two. So you get one for one, one for two. Yep. Plus battle tactics, so you're getting a solid four. Do you, do you get one if you leave one? Um, yes, so you do have more. You do? Yep, so that puts you on the solid five. So that's five added to... You're on the ten now. I'm on ten victory points. I'm yes, starting sir. to catch up a little bit. Yes, sir. And I think it passes to me now, doesn't it? It does, sir. I am in a tricky position. I will not lie. Um, battle I'm like, tactics. I'm liking where I'm at. Yeah, you, you've you've thoroughly got me here. Um, but I want you to table me. So there we go. Um, well, first, we'll see if there's any battle tactics I can do. Do, do, do. Could do magical dominance. Yeah, let's do magical dominance. So casting a spell, don't get it unbound. Um, so I think... Cam's going to be out of range for his heroic willpowers, so this should, yep. knock on wood, just go off. Yep. Heroic ability for starts, I'm going to finest hour my slan because nice. reasons. Um, what about you, my friend? What would you like to try and do? Can I rally? You can rally. No, no they're in combat. In combat. I'm in combat with yep. everything up there. I'm so, going to heroic heal. Yeah. So it's two dice. Two dice. Lower than ten. Lower than ten. Ooh, on a ten, on a ten, you heal one. Oh, wait, so if you draw, you heal one. I need. Um, hero stuff. Yep. Okay. He miscast last turn because he's dumb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you not get rerolls for casts with the cog? No, that was old. Oh, was it? Yeah. Am I living in the past? You are. You are. The future is now, old man. It is exactly. <laughs> so cosmic power points go up to eight. There we go. One for having the um, the building, one for having the slan, not the three, because he killed the star priest. I get a roll, two command points. Here we go. I get two. Let's go. It's a me, a Mario. Nice. Um, oh. Oh, dear. What we're going to do, Tom? Oh, dear. Ball's in your part, mate. It Let's really go. is. Um, fuck. Ah, you go. All right. Um, arcane dice. I don't get one. Do you want to roll to see if you generate us an arcane dice? Yeah. 
You have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Okay, I, so I, I get one. I get yeah. one. I okay. needed it. Um, <laughs> hallelujah. Okay. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Comet's call. Oh, buy dice. Come on, get higher than a 10, you pig. Okay. Um, arcane on, dice one, coming in. One. Yes! <laughs> Summon the one! <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> No! Okay, it goes off still. I just don't get D6. Game Bugger. Game hexes. So, for D3, I'm getting three. Okay. Oh, nice. So, I'm going to pick a... Oh, man. Um, I'm going to pick the Craven Guard. And I'm going to pick your two heroes. Cool. Why not? Why not? Okay, Craven Guard first. Wah! For one. One shrug on your Craven Guard. One six up. Come on. Oh. No, they take a wound. I'll stick a die by them. They just take one. Oh, just one. Okay. One hell of we'll a take goal. that. We'll take that. Where was the three? Um, <laughs> for the first guy, takes three. There it was. Not where I needed it. Three shrugs. Three shrugs. For which guy? Uh, this one here. Oh, the pesky one. The pesky one. Nope. Nope. We'll go off. So three wounds. Three wounds. There on. we go. Ouch. And uh, last one. On this guy, one. So one ward on him. Yet. 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 Okay. Like um, a dog. Um, Mystic Shield. Hiya! Plus one for five. It goes off. You get your Mystic Shield, young man. He's earned it. He's earned it. He, he did a thing. He certainly did a thing. Um, oh, man. <laughs> End of end of I hero phase. I think as well. Does that not persist until the next my next turn? It does. Yeah, it does. So that's the end of hero phase. No, my shriek. Oh, does it? I think so. Have I think a look. That's, that's a cheeky thing about it. I think. Have a look, because I was just thinking. Ooh, have a so, little double checker for me. After charge move, look at the model design. In terms of turn. my movement, ladies and gentlemen, the effect table with the enemy unit. If you prefer, not a lot going to happen. An enemy unit can be affected multiple times. I didn't know if it was just the combat or if it persists through. Because if it persists through, that's gang. Absolutely beastly. Not sure. Um, <sighs> after a friendly night hunt unit finishes a charge move, yep. look up and on. Oh, yeah, it is until, until the following combat phase. Nice. Okay. All right. We'll take it. Um, we will do... Oh no! So yeah, you're right. They're gone. It's gone, right? Yeah. Nice. Price nice. that price that unit in the following combat phase. Yeah. So cool. the, after the combat phase, they it's all gone. go. It's so nice. Go as well, the Stilodon goes back to being a beast, and he no longer has Mystic Shield. Um, that's shoot. the thing about the charging with Night Hunter. If you want to, yeah. If you're staying sure. in. Be sure. Be careful about their turns. Let's get I down to think business. You still get the minus one. Yeah. Because he's within twelve. Yeah. And you're terrified. Yeah. So that's good. There's no movement. I'm locked in combat. Um, I would have burned a command point to make sure that Skink didn't run. He's a champion. He can issue it to himself. Yep. Um, <laughs> not that he's going to do a lot. Um, go, 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 <laughs> me. Um, I just want to see this combat out and then we'll probably talk it through. Shooting. He would get Bolt Spitter. It hits. It doesn't wound. Um, we go straight into combat. Monstrous Rampage. I forgot to do that last turn with the uh, Still Don. He's going to stomp the Chain Rasps. D3 for two. Two mortal wounds into Chain Rasps. Taking no. two. Um, we will now do everything into the coach. So we're looking for 20 attacks here. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay. Um, all out attack. Threes. Let's see the threes. Any sixes or mortals? What's this against? This is all into the black coach. Oh no. Everything in it. The um, mortals. Yeah, they're the mortals there. Um, Okay. Fours. A little bit less hot there, but not going to complain about that at all. So that is a total of 
two, four, six, eight normal saves into the black coach. Eight normal saves. We'll do them first. Six, seven, eight. Yep. Where's That's it going to land? Oh, sure. Four, there it is. Sure. Three, four fail. So four shrugs added to your five. So nine shrugs here. Nine shrugs. Would you want to just... Would you would... What, oh, God, word. Discorporate. Yes. Yeah, probably. Okay, you've done it. Right. Sick. So five up. Now it's just five ups. Yeah, yeah. nine five ups. Nine five ups. Come on. Yes. That's pretty hot. We've got... Taking three, three, five, four, five. Putting them on ten. Ten wounds. He's got Here you twelve. Are. Let's find it. There is ten. Yeah, he's got twelve wounds. So he's got two wounds left. And it's then not bracketed at all, which is great. Yeah. I like that they've got rid of that in AOS. Yeah. Things keep the value for a while. Well, that's my combat done there. Yeah. Where would you like to go next? Um... He's not attacked yet. He's not attacked yet. He's not attacked yet. I <laughs> fight with my uh, Craven Guard. Can yeah, I, yeah. Can I all out attack. You certainly could. If there's a champion in there. Yeah. yeah. If there's a champion. Yeah. The, the pointy finger. The guy with the pointy I'll finger. All out attack. <laughs> you know the fucking. He's terrible. the guy. Come on, lads. Wicked sidearms. He gets two, and the other guy gets one. So three attacks. Yeah. Threes and then threes. There's fours and threes. So yes. it'll be plus one hitting it. For yes. All attack. Yeah. Three for threes. Two go through. Yeah, two wounds. Uh, no Ren, fours. It saves them both on a oh, double six. Shit. My word, boy. Oh, So that's that combat. Um, he'll go back into them. Threes and threes. He's a bit mad. He's a bit mad. Threes again. Uh, two at m no minus, because you're night on. No minus. Poor, oh, they're fine. They're absolutely fine. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. What was that again, sorry? That was the slan doing it into the Craven Guard. Yeah, four ups, yeah. So, all of your combat now. Nice. Into the Bastilladon, I think. So it's just this, it's just these and these, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I've got a skink. Sorry. I keep forgetting about that, that really impactful skink. Um, <laughs> to be fair, if he does two wounds... He could do it. He could kill a coach. If he does... And the idea of a single skink... Killing a coach is a meme. Just smashing <laughs> a whole coach to pieces. Wonk, wonk, wonk. Yep. I love it. All right. Where are you going? Ready? Which one are you going oh, to attack I with? I didn't pick a battle tactic, but this is your turn, isn't it? Yes. Ah, right. It is my turn. So I'm going to attack it. my black coach into that skink. Yep. <laughs> yep. I thought that was coming. It's <laughs> split its attacks though, can't it as well? You can. So I'm going yeah. to start on the skink. You can. You can. Start, so start on the skink. Ill. You just tell us how you split it at the start, and then you can split attacks. Right. So I'll start with the the soul breach grasp. I'll do that one attack on at the skink. So it's fours yeah. and threes. Hit. Fours. Threes. Yep. Minus. Through. Minus two. Yep. How much damage? Two. He's dead. Nice. Um, <laughs> and then the rest of the attacks I'll put into the thing. Yeah. So he's got nine nine spectral claws, which is fours and fours. Yep. So that's six. Nine. Fours and fours. <sighs> spectral touch. Yes, sir. Fail. Which is two drug. Fours. Whoa. One goes through, so two saves. Any minus? At minus one. Threes. One goes through. One goes through. Taking him up to three. Six, seven, eight attacks from the hooves. Hooves and teeth, fours and fours. Ooh, three frightfuls. Three frightfuls. Oh, right God. And then one there. So you've got four saves to make. make four no saves. End. No rend, one damage. Twos. He's nice, good. Nice. He's, he's a beast. He is good. He's a beast. Right. So. What we're going to do. So Next. that is. Do I have anything else to do? Did you I got attack? spirit hosts. You got your chain rasps. These two. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll um, spirit host. Six attacks. So what? Six attacks each. So it's 12. Yeah. 
two for eight pulls. Yep. And it's fours and threes. They hit, they fail. They fail. And they back fail. So it's just three saves. Three At saves. No rend. Twos. Oh, no. <sighs> Two ones there. Nice. Taking them up to five. So the chain rasp, you've got the dread scythe warden. Didn't make a charge roll at the same time, so they're back down their things. And then two each for the yep. for the regular chumps. So five attacks. And it's balls to balls. So two hit. Yep. Two wound. I completely forgot about the Bastildon's bludgeoning tail, but oh well. Oh, nice. Punishing yes, myself. Um, yeah, all good. Two ups, all good. Right, so that's my combat. That's it. That's Okey dokey. Scoring for myself. I fail battle tactic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. Oh, no. No, I didn't. It's magical dominance. I did get it. Ah, so I get two. It's a good one for you. Yeah. I have one point, and that's it. I get three. Right. I, I get three. So what you want now? So that puts us at me at 13. But you at 10. Now, I think you've got me. So I'm going to shake your hand and we'll talk it out. Good game, Cam. Do you reckon? Yeah, you've absolutely got me. So I would really, really start to struggle on my battle tactics now. Um, just because of how much you've cleared off the board. You've yeah. got my slant in combat. I can't generate an awful lot with them now, especially with that miscast. It, it, it makes you start to struggle. Yeah. In reality, that Bastilladon will probably last another turn or two based on how he's going currently. Just he's because a beast. Not, you don't have a lot of rend. No. So if you don't have a lot of rend, he's really tough, like difficult to deal with. Yeah. Um, so I he, think it's stacking the saves, isn't it, when you get it the is, charges? It is. So Which, he's really useful. Um, if I re retreat the three of them and then get like... Yeah, that's get, it. Get above a certain amount for all of them would be canny, but... It's it's the thing of... Because that moves it up from a two. Yes. Uh, do you know yes. what I mean? I think... I would probably get my grand strat of keeping my slan alive, but Cam has more points than me now, so he could very, very easily reposition, essentially retreat to um, cap objectives and get one, yeah. two more, one, two more, one. I'd so, even add three of them in now. Exactly. So but, uh, just by retreating off that point and moving, he starts to deny me. So yeah. definitely a win for Cam. But yeah, a really, really good game there. Hope hey. you guys enjoyed it. Um, it a nice little 1K game. Getting us prepared for Nottingham. It has. Um, yeah. Been really good. Yeah. Contest of Generals 3. Yes. Should be good. It. Anyone else has got tickets, you'll see us there. Absolutely. So do say hello. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, yeah. Do say hello if you are going. Um, we'll have our little caps as well, won't we? We will. We'll be looking very smart in our Here We Go Gaming caps. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. It pushes the video out to others in the algorithm. Helps Absolutely. us out massively. I really can't understate it. If we did anything wrong today, please comment below. We love to hear it in the comments. It's how we improve yep. our play. I like being wrong. I love it because then I actually learn stuff. That's it. You learn your, you yeah, learn from your mistakes, don't exactly, you? Exactly. Exactly. And I've hell, I've made a few. For example, forgetting completely about the bludgeoning tail in his melee attacks. That's it. That doesn't help. Please me. tell us because we're going to Nottingham next month. So we need all the. We need all the help we can get, ladies and gents. All the help we can get. But yes, from me and from Cam, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care. Thanks.